up watching the gopher and tuck show this is the intro and later's the outro we need a sponsor please sponsor us mentos variety our needs power and we're pro tucker needs him a new remote jumping for joy like an emo sub to our channel no remote gopher fell off the edge here we go all right we're by ourselves doing things that we do by ourselves I'm sober so you're not gonna get too instant of fucking comedy comedy commit fucking just come on how's everyone doing today good if you're suggesting you're doing good you're probably not paying attention you're probably just editing this to like increments and then keeping it moving Remember when we used to do editing things, like Future Justin would put things on the screen and we would just like, we would have fun, but then Justin got lazy. Remember those things? I remember those things. That's when Gopher and Tuck was a good channel. We were, we were doing things, being innovative. Not really innovative, but you know. There was some hoops and highs and gaps and gauze, but now... Let's just play the video game. Play the video game. <laughs> anyway. I have some phlegm in my throat, so... If I randomly get silent sometimes, it's not because I don't know what to say. It's because, god damn, this is suck to talk. I could have fast-traveled to somewhere that was on the outskirts of town, but nope, here I am. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Sometimes, cause y'all are assholes. No one tell. <sighs> All right, you know what? You know what? Oh, that's eight hundred. Fuck. All right, hold on. Since apparently, get rid of y'all first of all because I'm tired of it just because I'm sick of it thank you it's almost like I didn't know the turn I don't know how I feel about this vape that I'm smoking I might be burning it it might be the wrong temperature but like Yeah, they're not going to move too much because they're <sighs> like, I forgot what the hell the category is called. But all right, that works for me. Hold on. I can hit her. But she has to like come close to attack. <clears throat> but I could just like continue with the ones in the background. That's what I'm going to do. Taking care of buttness. That's what you should have said. I miss not bleeding. Well, guess what, sweetheart? That's not going to go away anytime soon. Alright. It takes out one. It leaves the other one on the side. She's going to touch me. But also, we're going to just go ahead and skip that. Thanks, Kenneth. Then, do I just knock her out since she's already there? No, let's go ahead and finish one of you back around once since you go soon. Yep, she literally went right then and there. Oh. Oh, no. And then she dies. She dies after doing that fuck shit. That's cool. God damn it. Maybe I should have definitely took you guys out first. Because now you, you've done that to two of my people. I can't even. Like, I can hit Stan here, but. I don't want to. But I can also smack me into. <sighs> Fuck it. Now back up. Nah. Damn. They went the wrong way.
Damn it. I'll take it. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't wanna... But she could do more of the... The, the, whatever the fuck, the charm shit. So let's just knock her health down a little bit. Okay, no one told you to get that close. Oh, excuse me. Alright. This actually helps me a little bit. Put y'all right here. See? A little bit of tactical, in, uh, tactical intuition there. I feel like she hasn't attacked whatsoever yet. Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna stand right here. Move back a little, 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 little move back action. Now she's done. And then we're gonna stand. Shit. Kenny's in the way. So if I stand there. There we go. So she should take maybe. Two more attacks. <clears throat> oh, there's Kenny. I mean, it's Kenny, so he's going to be right back. Doesn't really matter. Guess what? You got to deal with it for the rest of your life. Until you're like, eh. How old you are when you have menopause? Or when you're pregnant? All right, that didn't absolutely nothing other than get them out of the goddamn way. <clears throat> so I don't think they respond right there, or they rotate. I'm just tired of seeing them right there. But these motherfuckers over here, they're not going anywhere. I had something specific I wanted to talk about when I when I started recording because it was it irritated me. God damn it! God damn it! He got a little too close there. It irritated me in real life, <coughs> shall I say. <coughs> Jesus, the fucking... Hey! Shut up. But, um... And and, and, and to some people, it may it may seem like something like, why is that your complaint? Like, why why does that annoy you? I, I it's, it's, it's the principle fact, I guess. <coughs> people that, um... Like, literally shut the fuck up. How about that? But, um... You know, hold on. That's not fast travel. See if we can find that wallet. See if that helps me at all with like level real quick. But the people, like people on social media, right? Like you, you, you hang out with this person. You spend a lot of time talking to, especially if like you know you go to school together, or anything like that. And it's not like just like oh like we were we were cool in elementary school type shit, and then like you fall out and then you don't really talk to each other. Like college days. You, you hung out a lot, you talked on the phone a lot, you text message and everything. And then like you don't like you don't see each other for a while. And then you come across their social media or new social media that you use more often. Fuck you. So you, you go ahead and you, you add that person on social media, right? And then that person doesn't follow you back. Like, I know it's like a small petty thing. But it's like, it, it, it feels like you're just being a dick. Because like, it's just simple, especially like if you have your page private and the person has the request to follow you, and you accept that request, but then you don't follow that person back. It just comes up like, oh, I'm going to pad my numbers, fuck with you, fuck the connection that we have. Especially when you know you... <laughs> yes, yes I am. Especially when like, you know, you message this person or you you comment on this person's post like hey it's been a long time and I haven't talked to you i hope you're doing good i hope you had a good birthday because it was that birthday this is very specific because it just recently happened to me and then that person is just like oh thanks i had a good i had a good birthday nothing no no other follow-up to that and you're just gonna just move on like i hate when people do that because it gives like this fake like gives off this fake like 
I'm better than you entitlement type situation. Like, we used to be cool. We used to be close. And you just you just hit me with that. No, no. It was, it's been a while. I mean, it hasn't even... It, you don't even give me that. You just... You respond saying thank you. And then you move on with your day. Could have supposed to be cool. But, you know, I guess I'll go fuck myself. Thought we were friends. Like, I, I legit have a friend. Uh, he works with me now. Where haven't seen this man since probably like first week of high school. And it's just right back to being cool. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just like a male thing. It might be a gender thing. Because the person who decided to, to not follow back and just act like we didn't really know each other is female. While the, the friend from school, male. Ah, this is where his uh his wallet is. I mean, and it's not always the case because there's usually some males that I haven't seen in a while or whatever it may be, and it's just like, oh, cool, what up? No real conversation. It was just like acknowledge the fact that I know you. I don't, don't even acknowledge the fact that I know you. Just acknowledge the fact that you're you're talking to me, and then keep it moving. No, no, I just hate people to do shit like that. Like, it's not even... You can't even say it's like an anxiety thing. Because it's not... It's his social media. <laughs> and you can just, you know... You don't have to have a have Hold a conversation. It's like something quick. You know, and, I, and I hate small talk. And this is coming from someone that hates small talk. Like, it's... You can easily... Still have a conversation. Say hi. You don't have to constantly hold a conversation like people used to. Just, you know, catch up and keep it moving. It's so simple. Hold on. I guess I gotta stand out here. <clears throat> I wanna get this fucking phlegm out of my throat. But that's, that's not happening. Gonna keep clearing my throat until that fucking happens. Will it? I don't know. This feels like a longer cutscene than what it normally does for this setup. <laughs> Wait, what did what did those do? I feel like that didn't. Oh, wow. That lowers. I guess I can like sell some of the things to see if I can find something higher. That might help, because I'm pretty sure this Dr. Mephesto part is about to be something different. Where is his wallet? And that was my story. It's not, not your best. The Kirby one was better. I, I, well, I mean, you didn't really give me much to work with, Jesse. Fucking, what do you want from me? The, you're the, the improv? Love you, buddy. Love you too, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I got this rash on my 